Hello and welcome. Now, the new angle in the same problem, the next say possibility or the change in situation is if the fixed cost increases by 10%. Again, the main thing is fixed cost or say variable cost changes because of the effect of external or unavoidable or uncontrollable forces. So we have to bear it. Now with this firm it happens that somehow fixed cost increases by 10%. What will happen? First of all, the fixed cost will be now 30,000 existing increase means plus 10% means 3,000. So it will be now 33,000 rupees against the existing amount of rupees 30,000. Next, on selling price there will be no effect, no change in selling price. So it will be rupees 10 per unit again, no change. Similarly, on variable cost, no effect of change in fixed cost because both have their own entity rupees 6 per unit and as the effect of no change in selling price as well as variable cost see there will be no change in contribution per unit it will remain 10 minus 6 rupees 4 per unit unchanged Yes, it is for at present or under existing situation, it will remain rupees 4. Since there is no change in contribution per unit as well as selling price, see again there will be no change in PV ratio. Contribution upon sales revenue, either both per, uh, per unit or both total. 4 by 10, it is 0.4 or 40%. Again, so... It remains the same, no change. Why no change in contribution or PV ratio? Because the fixed cost has no place in the formula to calculate contribution or PV ratio. In calculating contribution, we just have to consider sales value and variable cost so there is no role of fixed cost in calculating contribution per unit or total so there is no change in contribution similarly in calculating PV ratio also we consider contribution and selling price no change in these two no role of fixed cost in calculating PV ratio so no change in PV ratio due to change in fixed cost some may argue that in contribution actually fixed cost and profit both are included but see contribution includes fixed cost as well as profit but total amount of contribution or per unit of amount of contribution don't change with the change of fixed cost if contribution remains same and fixed cost change the profit will change because ultimately what is profit? Contribution minus fixed cost. From contribution, we write off or charge the fixed cost. The result is profit. So with change in fixed cost, there will be no change in contribution. But our ultimate result of the selling activity, the profit will change. But now, what about break-even point? And first of all, break-even sales quantity. It is fixed cost upon contribution per unit. See, now what is going to happen? The fixed cost has changed. From 30,000 30, it is now rupees 33,000. Yes, so the break given is going to change. 33,000 divided by 4. That means it is now 8,250 units. Yes against 7500 units under the existing situation. So, with increase in fixed cost by 10%, the BEP has also increased by 10%. Again, 7500 units, see the increase is 750 units, 8250 minus 7500. In terms of value also, the same thing is going to happen. 8250 into unchanged selling price of rupees 10. 
so it comes to 82,500 rupees that is also 10% more than the existing break even sales value but the ultimate comment is increased so principally we can accept that if the fixed cost increases the BEP will also increase margin of safety sales minus BEP in calculating margin of safety there is no direct role of the fixed cost or amount of fixed cost but indirectly the fixed cost affects the margin of safety because fixed cost directly affects BEP and margin of safety is calculated through BEP so margin of safety has to change whenever the fixed cost changes let us calculate margin of safety quantity sales 10,000 changed BEP 8,250 units so it is now 1,750 units from 2,500 units the margin of safety has decreased to 1,750 units so the first conclusion is if the sales activity is taken as a journey the stage of profit making has gone far from the existing point yes similarly the sales beyond BEP or the sales which gives the actual profit has decreased yes so it is not in favor of the financial health of the company if we calculate margin of safety value it will be 1750 units into unchanged selling price of rupees 10 so it will be rupees 17500 against it is less than the existing amount of rupees 25000 sales required to earn profit of rupees 5000 Yes, required sales as usual I want to say that this is my favorite formula fixed cost revised 33,000 plus desired profit 5,000 divided by rupees 4 per unit so ultimately it is rupees 38,000 divided by rupees 4 per unit so now it comes to 9,000 500 units under the existing situation the sales required to earn profit of rupees 5000 is 8750 units but now it has increased by 750 units that is obvious because that 750 units from margin of safety have gone to the break even quantity Yes, in this case we have to state that it has decreased and here it has increased. Okay, and the last thing profit at present or profit on selling 10,000 units under the revised situation. Again, we are going to use the same formula but removing the word required sales equals to fixed cost plus profit upon contribution per unit we will use the word required only if we are going to calculate sales this for, through this formula if we are going to calculate any of these three or anything else through this formula we shall write only term sales instead of required sales sales 10,000 fixed cost 33,000 profit is missing and rupees for its contribution so 40,000 equals to 33,000 plus profit so at present the profit is only rupees 7,000 against existing profit of rupees 10,000 see what is the difference between the profit under the two situations under the existing situation it is 10,000 that means at present the company is working in this format and making profit of rupees 10,000 per period we don't say the year 
if the fixed cost increases by 10%, 10% of existing fixed cost of 30,000, so it becomes 33,000, what has ultimately happened? The profit has gone down by the amount exactly equal to the amount of increase in fixed cost, that is rupees 3,000. See, there is no change in contribution per unit and no change in the sales quantity, so there is no change in total contribution, but as a one as a component of total contribution, the fixed cost has changed. What will happen? The other component profit will decrease. See? Okay? Thank you.